So how do we solve this? There's no function here. So what we're going to do is do a little algebra and then give the function a name. So I can subtract a 3 over here. There is one operation that will flip your inequality around, and that operation is multiplying or dividing by a negative. That would flip your inequality. Adding and subtracting does not change your inequality. So we're completely okay to subtract 3 over here. Nothing changes. So here's our function right here. We're going to give it a name. f of x equals absolute value 2x minus 1 minus 3. So if I could graph 2x minus 1, all I need to do is shift it down 3. So I'm going to choose a b of x function to be 2x minus 1. So I'm going to do a little easier problem, and then we're going to go back here and look at how we do a more difficult one. So how do I graph this b of x? It's a linear function, slope 2, y-intercept negative 1. So our y-intercept 0, negative 1, our x-intercept, you go over a half and up 1, so this is 1 half comma 0. So this is b of x, here's the graph. y-intercept negative 1, x-intercept 1 half. I don't want b of x, I really want the absolute value. What does that do? It's going to take this negative part, get rid of it, and make it positive. So if I change to an absolute value, I'm throwing away all this part, and I'm going to make it positive instead. So there is 2x minus 1, absolute value graphed right here. I probably should be a little bit careful about some points here. Our slope was 2, or negative 2 in this case, so this point will be 0, 1, and this point right here will be 1, 1, 1. And this is really the x-intercept up here. So now we're going to shift it down 3. So we're ready to do this full f of x. So we're going to take these three points, just move them down 3. That's all. So 1 half. That's a half, one, two, there's negative three. The other two points, zero, one, zero, negative two, and one, negative two. So there's the three points. We can continue to make the graph. So I need to make sure, I'm really concerned about the x-axis. Where do we hit the x-axis? I could very carefully measure and figure that out. What I'm going to do instead is use some algebra right here. So we're going to solve for x-intercepts. Seems like a lot of work to solve for this. Yes, you can solve it algebraically faster. I'm going through all these steps of how to graph this. We're going to look for x-intercepts. 3 equals absolute value 2x minus 1. There's the absolute value property. We saw that 3 equals plus or minus two x minus one. So there's two choices, three equals two x minus one, or three equals negative two x minus one. You get a plus or a minus, so don't forget about that. Solving here, add four equals two x, two equals x, or let's distribute this negative three equals negative two x plus one We'll subtract 1, 2 equals negative 2x, x equals negative 1. So we've got negative 1 and 2. Which inequality are we solving? We said this was f of x, so the inequality we're solving, f of x, is less than 0. So I want the negative part here. So I'm going to scribble out the pieces I don't want. We're not going to go with the horns this time. It's not okay to equal zero, so we're skipping right over the x-intercepts, and I want this 
part down here, the middle part, the valley, from negative 1 to 2. And we're skipping the endpoints, so we're just going the open interval, negative 1 to 2.